Hi guys, here's one exciting simple FOC shield project. This is a project of designing and controlling the reaction wheel of inverted pendulum, entirely based on the simple FOC library and shield. Mechanically, uh, it uses one BLDC motor, which by accelerating and decelerating the inertia wheel on top, creates uh, the stabilizing reaction force. For example, if an external force is applied, the motor has to accelerate the inertia wheel the right amount and generate the opposite direction, the force, to compensate it. And this you can see easily, for example, for in this video. This project, uh, as you can see, requires high degree of precision and control and smoothness, which makes it a perfect use case for a simple FOC. And therefore, in this video, I would like us to go through the necessary mechanical components and write the full Arduino code. Let me show you the assembly. The core of our project is the BLDC motor, which we are going to control using field-oriented control. I'm using a gimbal motor um, with the uh, with the hollow shaft through which I have put the M4 screw and mounted the encoder on. Okay. Uh, all the plastic parts are 3D printed. I've used PTG filament, but you can use uh, PLA, ABS, uh, it won't change much. The encoder is uh, actually I'm using two position sensors, uh, one for the motor, one for the pendulum. Uh, in my case, I'm using encoders. They are the same AMT103 that I used in the previous videos. I like them a lot because they have a configurable number of uh, pulses per revolution. For example, for the motor, I've used 500 pulses, and for the the pendulum, I've used 1,000. So this this uh, simplifies your uh, simplifies the implementation in the Arduino a lot. So um, for the base uh, of the pendulum, I'm using um, as a shaft. I'm using a eight millimeter aluminum tube through which I have put again the M4 screw and attached the encoder to. And uh, this has worked uh, very well, but I'm sure uh, there, there are better solutions to it. I'm also using three ball bearings uh, in the plastic, embedded in the plastic, uh, to, to reduce friction. The inertia wheel is designed in a way to, to um, um, reduce mass and increase uh, maximally the, the moment of inertia that we can, uh, that we can uh, later uh, 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 accelerate and decelerate. And at the end, I'm using the vacuum suction cup to, uh, to mount the, the pendulum too. It's very convenient because it can handle a lot of forces and um, it provides a secure, secure mounting point to the pendulum. Now, as you can see, the pendulum it can be easily mounted on the edge of the table, where it can securely do the, the stabilization and the swing up part of the routine. Then uh, we connect all the wires directly to the Arduino shield, both the motor and the encoders. And in this uh, project example, I'm using a lithium polymer battery, 3S 12-volt uh, battery, as the power supply, which was uh, perfectly enough and uh, uh, provided a very good uh, performance. And um, now, since we have all the setup ready, I would like us to together to write the full Arduino code for this pendulum and see it come to life uh, in, in real time. So first thing you need to do is uh, include the simple FOC library. Then you initialize the motor and the encoder by uh, creating class BLDC motor and the encoder with uh, inputs 9, 10, 11 uh, as Arduino pins which handle PWM, um, 11 pole pairs for the motor, enable pin 8 for the Arduino field oriented control shield. Uh, encoder has 500 uh, pulses per revolution and uh, A and B channels are connected to the Arduino pins 2 and 3. Then uh, what we need to do in, is initialize the encoder in the setup function, basically initialize hardware and enable interrupts. Then uh, we, we, def, uh, we define that the motor controller is going to be the voltage type and we link the encoder and the sensor using the link sensor function. Uh, and finally what we need to do is initialize motor uh, hardware doing, by doing motor in it and initialize field oriented control by, um, by aligning encoder and the encoder zero and motor zero by doing in it FOC. Now uh, in the in the loop function we just uh, add the function uh, motor dot uh, loop FOC which runs around each uh, one millisecond. And now to test it, how it runs, we just can do just motor dot uh, move 
two volts. This is going to put two volts to the motor because we are using a voltage controller at the moment. So um, once when it's downloaded, the motor is going to sorry uploaded. The motor is going to turn. So we are going to be able to see the the uh, the reaction wheel turn. Now the motor is initialized and it's turning. Let's initialize the pendulum. So the first thing that we need to do is initialize the pendulum encoder. So we define it as encoder. We put uh, encoder pins to A1 and A2. It has a thousand counts, thousand uh, pulses per revolution. Since we are, since Arduino Uno doesn't have enough uh, hardware interrupts, we are going to be using the software interrupt library. In my case, I'm using PCI Manager library. You can use whichever you prefer. And this one is very simple. That's why I'm, I'm using it. Uh, basically, in order to uh, add, uh, attach interrupts, you just um, create listeners to the pins A and B of the encoder and supply them the buffering functions. And uh, the setup is basically the same as the encoder. The regular uh, encoder with hardware interrupts. First, you initialize the hardware, and then instead of uh, calling enable interrupts, you call PCI Manager dot register listeners with the listeners that you defined above, and that's it. Now we have the pendulum initialized as well, pendulum sensor. So instead of doing this motor move as before, we are going to be uh, using the the control function that I that I wrote. I'm not going to go in depth into it, I'm just going to explain you what it does. So first, it down samples the control loop from 1 milliseconds to around 25 because it's perfectly enough. Uh, then it uh, takes, uh, then it uh, reads the pendulum angle by doing pendulum get angle and uh, adds uh, the pi because the uh, the motor is, the pendulum is facing down downwards on the initialization and constrains the angle in between uh, minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees in radians minus pi and pi. Then uh, we actually, the next part of the code is actually the control algorithm. First we check whether the angle of the pendulum is uh, in between uh, minus and plus 0 0.5 radians, what would be around 20 degrees. If it's not, then we do the swing up. If it's in between those values, then we actually stabilize the, the pendulum. And we are going to use the LQR controller in order to do it. Let me show you the function. So LQR controller it takes a pendulum angle, pendulum velocity, and motor velocity, calculates linear uh, control uh, rule, and uh, sets this voltage back to the target voltage variable. And then we put it to the motor move inside. And this is it. This is our. Um, this is the whole code that is used for the pendulum you have seen in the videos. Let's download it to the to the to the Arduino and let's see how, how it performs. So it's it's very very simple as you can see. So the 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 Arduino is going to um, is going to first stabilize on the bottom. It's going to initialize the pendulum zero, then it's going to wait for us to push it a bit and it's going to start the swing up. So at the moment the motor is initialized, as you can see, uh, the, the pendulum is facing downwards. And let me push it a bit, the swing up, and that's it. You have your inverted inertial pendulum with reaction wheel in five and a half minutes of coding. So that's it guys, this project has been a really fun journey for me and I hope it got you inspired to use field-oriented control and build DC motors with your own projects as well. This pendulum and the simple FOC project are completely open source so you'll be able to find the links to the, the, the code and documentation in the description and thanks a lot for watching.